welcome back to Reading with Leanne. Let's read the book, The Airport Book, by Lisa Brown. And if we look on the cover of the book, we see an airport and an airplane. And in this book, we are going to follow a family's journey. Let's see what this book is about. Let's open it up. <gasps> Looks like it's a rainy day and overhead, there is an airplane flying above the apartment. Over here, the family is packing their suitcases. Socks, check. Bikini, check. Right. Putting everything in their boxes. The mom says, don't forget monkey. Dad says, of course I won't forget monkey. Brother says, where's my hat? And sister says, I pack monkey. So she puts monkey into her suitcase. When you go to the airport, you can take a car, a van, a bus, or even a train. Sometimes we take a taxi cab. Goodbye, Hal, says brother. Hurry up, please, it's time, says mother. We're hurrying, says father. They're pulling all the stuff out of their house so they can go on their trip. You drive on the highway to where the ground is really flat. And whoa, there are lots of people saying lots of goodbyes. Sometimes they hug, sometimes they cry. Look at everybody leaving. Love you, Grandma, says a family. Sometimes you can tell exactly what is packed inside the bags. <gasps> that looks like maybe it's a guitar. Sometimes it's a mystery. Hmm, what did this person pack over here? Now, they have big bags on wheels and smaller bags on their shoulders and backs. Everyone is rushing about going places. And you see the couple in the air shuttle. The woman asks, do you have the tickets? Of course, says the man. The limousine driver says, what airline please? Everyone is rushing about. Now, inside the airport, you stand in lines. You stand in lines to get your ticket. You stand in lines to check your bags. There are lines for the restrooms. There are lines to go through security. Mm. So, over here, look at the long lineup. Ooh, there's a baby. Blah, 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 blah. There's a lady on her phone. Have a good trip, sir. Somebody has just checked in his bags and oh, we see the little sister say, monkey, monkey, monkey. Oh, do you see her monkey? It's sticking out of the luggage. But the mom doesn't see and she asks, did you forget to pack monkey? Uh-oh, thinks dad. ID please, says the lady at the check-in counter. Now, next, a machine x-rays all the bags that you take on the plane. Sometimes another machine x-rays your body. You will also take that with you on the plane. Right. It looks like there's a, a team traveling, a soccer team, shoes off team. Right. They have to scan everything that you bring on the plane. So they're scanning their shoes, their basketball, their toys. Empty your pockets, please. Right? You have to take out your keys. Everything is being scanned. <gasps> now, we see our family and, oh no, look at baby sister. Well, you're okay, says dad. <gasps> Little sisters cry when they go through the scanner. So, they've gotten their plane tickets. They've checked in their big luggage, right? 
Now their small luggage has been scanned, their bodies have been scanned to make sure they're not bringing anything uh, that shouldn't be brought onto the plane. And now you walk past benches and shops and restaurants and art exhibits. It's like a little indoor town. Sometimes there are small beeping cars driving through the town. Sometimes the sidewalks and staircases move by themselves. You have to hold your sister's hand tight or she could get lost. Right. So while the family is moving closer to the plane, look, their luggage at the bottom is also actually moving on a belt to the plane as well. Do you spy monkey? Actually on this page, do you spy the older couple that were in the shuttle? Do you spy the soccer team? Mm. Everyone has made it to the one place. Now, when you reach your gate, you wait and wait and wait and wait. Outside, people are getting the plane ready. They are checking that everything is working and safe and clean and ready to fly. You see down there, they're moving the luggage onto the plane. I see monkey, says baby sister. Hmm? Don't be silly, says the brother. Nobody sees monkey's tail poking out. Now, oh, the older couple from before. I hope you have the boarding passes, she says. And hey, the lady that's still on the phone. Blah, 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 blah. Now, let's look outside. Things are loaded onto the plane. Gas is put into the fuel tanks. Food is put into the galley. Luggage is put into the cargo hull. The crew put themselves on board and take their places. Now, the passengers can board. You wait until your group is caught, then walk down the jetway. It looks like an accordion. You see the jetway, it can expand and shrink to get closer to the plane. <gasps> Do you spy the people flying the plane? The captains! And welcome aboard! Everyone is handing over their tickets and walking to their seats. Hmm? The lady is still on her phone. Blah, 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 blah. And can you spy monkey? Now, you have to check your numbers, right? And take a seat. You squeeze into your seat. Some bags go up, top. Some bags go underneath. And you have to make sure you have all your books and papers and music and games and toys before the plane takes off. Monkey! Monkey! Baby sister says. So, you know when you are on a plane, right? You could put your bags on the top shelf. You could put your bags under your seat. But the big suitcases, well, they're below you. And if you look, some people brought their pets on board. I spy a kitty. I spy, is that a little pug? And I spy a dog when its cage is opening. Monkey, baby sister cries. says the little baby from before. <laughs> and over here, the flight attendant explains the safety procedures, right? You listen quietly to the safety announcements. You stow your tray table. You buckle your seatbelt across your lap. The lady is demonstrating. To inflict the life jacket, pull the tab or blow into the tube. door pulls monkey out of the suitcase. A flight
flight attendant walks up and down the aisle, pushing a cart. Sometimes you get something to drink. Sometimes you get something to eat. Sometimes there's a movie to watch. Sometimes there are people to talk to. Way cries the little baby. Shh, insists the dad. Just please, asks the girl. Peekaboo, says baby sister. And look at the dog from before. It's lying on monkey. Sometimes the plane is bouncy, but 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 most of the time it's smooth. Outside there are clouds and clouds and clouds. When the plane lands, you collect all of your things. You say goodbye to the crew and go to the baggage carousel to find the bags you checked. Take care, says the flight attendant. Hey, that's the guy we saw earlier with the mysterious package. <gasps> monkey, 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 says baby sister. Mm -hmm. Brother and mother are confused. <gasps> but phew, it looks like the dog didn't take monkey. Huh? The lady's on her phone again. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome. They go to the baggage claim. So, now that they're off the plane, they have to pick up their luggage. The bags travel around in a circle. When you see your bag, you pull it off fast, or else it's going to escape from you. <gasps> Monkey! Hey, look! Whoa, where did he come from? Finally, the rest of her family sees Monkey. Do you have the hotel reservations? You have to make sure that your bag is really your bag. <gasps> Look, there's two people here with very similar bags. Whose is whose? <gasps> Arf! The dog that we saw earlier. Hmm. Oh, and odd size baggage. A man is getting his mysterious package. So they got off the plane, they got their luggage, and outside there are lots of people saying lots of hellos. Sometimes they hug, sometimes they cry. Then everyone leaves. <gasps> Hi, son. Grandpa. Nana. <gasps> it looks like the family were visiting the grandparents. We missed you, says another family. Next in line, says the person managing the taxis. <gasps> Mommy, says the boy. Oh, the lady, her phone's buzzing, but she's finally off of her phone. And, whoa, we found out what was in the mysterious package. <gasps> a sculpture of a lady's face. When you leave the airport, you can take a car, a van, a bus, or even a train. We take Grandpa's car. Goodbye, airport. Look at that. And then you do everything all over again in the other direction when it's time to go home. So they're driving off and sister has the monkey and dog over here sees his toy. So, the family, they finally made it to their destination. They're at the beach to spend time with Grandma and Grandpa. Overhead, we see a plane whoosh, taking off. They will have to do the same thing again on their return trip, but for now, I think they can enjoy the ocean. And that is the end of this book. Thank you, everyone.